I took a couple of days recently to try to unplug and spend some time in nature and reflect on where I'm at. I had a lot of time during the train rides to think and it's scary to be honest for a moment and admit that I'm pretty clueless on what the future holds. No matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, there's nothing I can do to control what's going to happen. I can't control what people are going to say or how long I'm going to be around. So I was sitting thinking about this and kind of realized that whether we like it or not, this is a position we are all in at all times. Feeling lost or confused on what's to come or where to go is something that just hits me in waves almost randomly um, and it can feel overwhelming. Sometimes it's unclear what the right thing is to do, if there is a right thing. You know, I wanna do the right thing, but I'm not sure I always have a clear idea of what that looks like or what that means. In a way, I kind of wonder, what do I stand for? I have, as long as I can remember, always hated the feeling of floating through life, of powerlessness. I think a sense of desperation comes out when I feel pinned down or knocked over. It's really hard to prevent doubts from creeping in from time to time. And sometimes I can see how these fears color my decisions and make me act in strange ways to feel less vulnerable. I see now that I've learned how to stay really busy um, and distract myself from myself. But when I do stop for a moment and kind of let the facade drop, I'm not sure I like what I see. I really do wonder what my eight-year-old self would think. I don't think I have as many answers as I thought I would at this stage in life. Or maybe I got some answers and now I just have more questions. And sometimes what was working before, it stops working and I feel like I'm starting from zero all over again. Maybe that's what it means to grow up. You know, to admit that you were clueless about some things, about most things, the whole time. Nobody wants to say it, but I will. I do still fear what other people will say about me. I want to be loved, you know? And it's easy to say, I don't care, you know, it doesn't affect me, but it does. I do care. I think we all care. I think we're social creatures and this, it's built into us. I don't think any of us want to be alone, but it can feel like that sometimes. I'm just trying to remind myself that it's okay to not be okay all the time. We are complex and I'm not sure even a full lifetime is enough time to figure everything out about ourselves. I think I'm learning how to not even try to fix the situation or myself because there's nothing to be fixed. And just accept that I'm doing my best and that I get to choose how I look at things. When I do manage to do it, uh, having a sense of humor about things can help a lot, actually. I really like Rumi the poet's words, even though they were written centuries ago. He said, these pains you feel are messengers. Listen to them. Hey, are you where you think you thought you would be at age 53? I, I had no idea I would be where I am at 53. I, did, I had no idea it would look this way, especially doing work, you know, emotional work. I had no idea. And yeah, at, at each stage, new stuff is gonna show up and it's a whole other ball game now. Because remember, a lot of what we're all doing isn't about what we're doing. You know, it's, it's, it's about what's underneath everything we're doing. And so, the more you look at that, the more you're like, Shh, this is different than what I thought it would be. Do you think you've gotten better at handling periods of your life where you feel confused? Maybe a little bit, just a little. Advice is actually not to be reactive, which is really hard, especially for people like you and, and I who are problem solvers and action yeah. driven. Even though it feels counter counterproductive, is not to be reactive and kind of like give it space, which is which is really hard. To help me get unstuck sometimes when I don't know what's going on, I just feel tightness, is to ask. 
What am I afraid of? It's almost like when you're uh, a kid, you think adults have the answers. They kind of have things figured out because it's just that's what you see. That's your perspective on things. And it's like as you become more and more of an adult, you realize that is like so not true. <laughs> that's so. That is completely not the case. Yeah, yeah. But just just remember. I mean, I think that at the core of all this is we're do we're all doing this stuff because we want to face these things that are in us, right? So that we can demystify them and be live freer lives. I mean, I would love to be free from some of this stuff because I did some hard work around it, and that that's why we're doing it. 